here it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft Word video. In this video you'll learn about the automatic formatting and automatic correction features in Word and how you can change them to suit your needs. I'll be demonstrating using Word 2016 but if you're using a previous version of Word the steps are primarily the same. Let's get started. To access autocorrect options we're going to click File options, proofing, and then on this particular dialog box, in a moment I'm going to go into the autocorrect options which has an ellipsis or the three dots which signifies that a dialog box is going to appear. But first let me explain some of the features on this particular list here. Um, which many of them are checked automatically for you by default. In this section, there's a number of options for you when correcting spelling in Microsoft Office programs. For instance, it's going to automatically ignore words in uppercase, all capital letters. Also, it will ignore words that contain numbers. And you can turn that off if you need to, but by default, it's going to be checked. And also, if you have any website addresses or URLs in your document, it's going to leave them alone and not attempt to correct any punctuation in there. It's also set to flag any repeated words. And let me just move down to this section now. The section down here applies to uh, how Word behaves when it checks spelling and grammar. So it's automatically going to check spelling as you type. So if you uh, remember ever seeing those little squiggly characters underneath symbols, I mean underneath your words, it's because it's indicating to you a possible misspelling. It's also uh, automatically checked to mark grammar errors as you type, any confusing words. Um, etc. Now also down here there's something called readability statistics that's turned on and I want to show you when you uh, perform a spell and grammar check how to see helpful readability statistics in your document and I'll show you that in a, in a few minutes. So what I also want to show you is behind the autocorrect options if I click here a dialog box will now display. There's quite a variety here of tabs at the top and notice that right now it's sitting on the autocorrect but let me show you if you click on another tab it sort of like uh, juggles them around there which I don't usually like. Let me go ahead and start with autocorrect and autocorrect by default has all of these checked and I'll point out a few that I think would be helpful for you to know like for instance automatic bullet list. If you turn a bullet on in, in your document as you're typing and then you hit enter, Word's going to assume that you want to continue the bullet list and it will continue the bullets for you and for the most part I do find that helpful so um, I tend to leave that on. I want to point out one that you may or may not need on um, this replace straight quotes with smart quotes. So if you write a lot you may have requirements in your particular document that require a certain type of quote. Now the straight quotes, and I don't know if you can see this because it's awful tiny, are straight up and down and it will automatically replace straight quotes with smart quotes which are the angled quotes which are like a little curved in. So um, let me go ahead and move from the auto format to auto format as you type which again you have a lot of the same options here and it's just going to be a matter of do you want Word to uh, automatically format as you type or if you don't like it to format as you type. You can turn these off. So as you could see the straight quotes with smart quotes is here as well. There's also the automatic bolded list but there's also automatic numbered lists and there are some other options some of which would require a separate video like for instance the math autocorrect includes a variety of um, kind of confusing symbols here. So I guess if you're a mathematician you may need to use some of these symbols. There's also an action tab that has the ability to you can set up actions for certain words or phrases in your document 
and um, have them work through your right click menu. And finally, uh, the other tab I wanted to mention to you was autocorrect. Autocorrect has a lot of nice features here. It will automatically correct two initial caps, which is handy. Uh, capitalize the first letter of sentences, which is also very handy. Uh, capitalize first letter of table cells. Now you may or may not need this. If you have a table and you have proper names, like you know names of people or companies, you definitely want it to capitalize the first letter in your um, in the cell. But I have had this experience where I do not need something capitalized. For instance, say you're typing a list of something simple like fruits and vegetables. You definitely don't want those words capitalized. So in that case you want to uncheck that box. I'll keep it checked for now, but it's nice to know that you can turn it off. Uh, some are definitely helpful. Capitalize the names of the days of the week and correct accidental usage of caps lock. So that's very handy. Uh, finally, I wanted to mention to you something very, very handy is the replace text as you type. So there's already a whole list of nifty characters that will automatically change to a symbol, for instance, these emoticons, and also a lot of other symbols that you may want to check out because uh, once you know about a particular symbol, you'll be able to know what characters to type to get that symbol to appear in your document. There's also a whole load of words, and you could see in here, this is how Word will automatically change something that is possible with spelling to a correct word. The other nice thing is you could set up your own items in here. For instance, say you have a lengthy proper name. Let's just say, for exam example, a proper name like Nathaniel Rosen Bloomberg. A mouthful, right? So if you needed to type that particular name in your document, you could type it and then copy and paste it in different places. Or what you can do is set up so that when you type a couple characters like the person's initials and R, that that name would automatically appear if you type this, those two characters in. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here and didn't really make any changes that I want to save here. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. So what I wanted to do now is show you that replace feature, which I'm going to just go to an empty spot in my document. And yes, I have a uh, purposely put a misspelling here because I'm going to show you something with the spell check in a moment. But first, let me show you, I mentioned the name Nathaniel Rosen Bloomberg, right? So I have it already set up. So when I type NR and then hit the space bar, voila, the name appears. And this is so handy. You could set up as many uh, of those replacements as you like. And let me show you one more time how to, where to go to set those up. I went into File, Options, and then in Proofing, I went into Autocorrect Options in the Autocorrect tab down in here. So you could type anything to your heart's desire that you just want. It has to be a couple of unique characters though. Now, NR, you would hardly ever, ever type and our space, right? So that's something uh, that's not common. So you want to definitely make the symbols unique uh, and then type what you want it to appear after you type the characters and press space, it will automatically appear. So let me just cancel out of there. I have one more thing that I want to show you. I had mentioned about the readability statistics, uh, which is automatically turned on. And the way that works is, if you run a spell and grammar check in your document, and you can do that in the ribbon and click spelling and grammar, you can also hit the F7 key on your keyboard. And when I do that, you'll see I just purposely put a misspelling just so we have something to correct in there. And of course, it does think that the last name Rosen Bloomberg is a uh, possible misspelling. And I'm just going to go ahead and click ignore. Uh, every occurrence of that name and then it will not give me the little squiggly red lines anymore. And next it detects that the word list is misspelled and I'm going to go ahead and select that I want to change it to list. And it wants the spelling and grammar check is complete and I click OK. It then displays the readability statistics which can come in very handy if you're a writer 
or a teacher and you need to keep track of word count, characters, uh, paragraphs, uh, sentences, and down in here, it gives you the, um, the higher the per percentage here, the easier it would be to read this document. It also supplies a uh, this flush at Kincaid grade level, which right here, this is a very simple document. That's why there's probably not any numbers in here, but tells you uh, the grade level that you would need to have in order to read this document. It's a very simple document, so there's no grade level here. So I'm going to click OK. And that's it for today's video. So if you found this video helpful, I appreciate that you leave a comment. And if you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.